Uh, there was one case where uh, this was a lady who had an infected posterior molar, 15. It was all part of a bridge. The bridges were failing. And so uh, we went, I sat down with the dentist, discussed different options and said, okay, I'll take that out. And, and the dentist said, well, you know, I can take it out. I'll have to section the bridge. And I said, okay, well, when you do, don't forget that there may be a, a oral antral fistula. And so you may want to put in a college and plug and they said oh well in that case you go ahead <laughs> because i just want them to think about that and i don't mind if they do the case but i just you know we don't want a hole and we don't want them to go down and have problems yeah and but then the dentist turned around and this was great said well why don't you at the same time because these bridges are bad why do you do sinus lifts bilateral and and then we can set the patient up so that over the next four months, the bone can be healing. I'll evaluate the bridges one by one over time, mm-hmm. prep them, take them out, see if they're salvageable or not. And if they're, they are, then, I'll, uh, then great. Uh, we'll just t- uh, turn them into individual crowns and put two implants in the posterior. That way it's easier for health and hygiene. If they're not, then we'll take everything out and we'll do a teeth in a day sort of thing. So mm-hmm. that was a great plan, but it took sitting down with the dentist. And I can't remember if this was in my office or theirs. And it's always nice to go back and forth and just look at a case and chat about it. 